Hey My Yoga Onliners, this is Matt from My Yoga Online's awesomeness team and we are here today with Desiree Rumba, the incredible yogini, yoga teacher, and raw foodie. So here we are with her and we will ask her just a couple questions about her practice. So here is Desiree. Hey there, Desiree. Hey there, Matt. <laughs> Having a great time at Wanderlust. Wonderful. So we will ask her just a couple questions here. So Desiree, what is yoga to you? It's joy, it's healing, it's self-expression, it's self-love and acceptance. That's awesome. I love that. Number two, what was your first class like? Very funny. Very first I class. I was teaching aerobics in 1987 and I went to an aerobics convention in LA at the convention center and there was only one yoga class because in 1987 yoga was not big. So I went because I was so interested and curious and it happened to be a Bikram style class and the teacher cool. was Billy Porter who was the teacher of rock hell Lunch. Okay. So it was all this hot yoga, you know, and I had never done yoga ever before, and I was wearing a shiny unitard with stirrups, <laughs> and I went in there with pink leg warmers. You know? I love this. This is 1980s, okay? That's and awesome. I loved it, and since I had been a dancer, I could just do all these poses, like I could do Natra Jasna because I had a dance background, and I came out of it thinking, okay, I'm done with aerobics, I'm moving into yoga, because if this is exercise, this is for me. Got this, yeah, right on. Number three, how do you create and stick to your own home practice? Well, my home practice is usually a healing practice or just mm -hmm. for strengthening, and it always morphs organically. And okay. just I just do things that feel good to me, that I love or challenge me in the right way. And it's sacred time with myself, so. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. That's the way I look at it. Number four of five, what are the most profound ways in which being a yoga teacher has changed your life? Yeah, being a yoga teacher and a yoga student first, of course, has uh, taken me on a voyage inward. And I, in order to be able to teach other people and help them, I've had mm -hmm. to do all my own work. So I think that's why people get drawn to teaching is because we have so much to learn. That's, and I have learned a lot. That's beautiful. Number five, what is your ultimate goal in being a spiritual teacher to others? My ultimate goal <laughs> is to be a better person myself. Awesome. I don't really consider myself able to teach anybody anything that I am not also trying to learn. So that's why I always see it is right teaching on. what I need to learn. That's beautiful. Right on. Well, thank you so much, Desiree. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll check you soon, my yoga liners. Here we are signing off from uh, Wanderlust, Colorado, 2013. Thanks a lot, Desiree.